Hi guys, welcome to the first preview of the new 2024 season and something more obviously. One year ago I was still struggling and trying to recover from a very stressful season and my mind was completely wiped out until late February first days of March. That's when my 2023 season really started. But when the January 2024 knocked at my door and I went for that door, I opened it and bang! In a blink of an eye, the new path for my 2024 Christmas Villa was there. No matter what, I will stand with that. And I will be talking about it in the next few minutes. Not revealing much, but... A starting point but I will also talk about the off season from now to July 2024 when I will be starting my new season will I be doing something yes will I be doing something just for me not <laughs> at least I up not just for me but also for you in the next couple of weeks I will be starting some mini series. Don't worry, nothing difficult, complicated, or odd or strange as my previous mini series. I will be doing, for start, two mini series. One focused on LEDs and street lamps, or how to use some 3D printed, very simple props and some LEDs or some uh, dollhouse uh, uh, street lamps modified with some LEDs to get a new <laughs> powerful street lamp for your uh, Christmas villages from zero to the complete uh, street lamps talking uh, very easily about the soldering, about the LEDs, about how to uh, include LEDs in something that is not suited for LEDs. Very simple, very easy as I just told you. And there will be parts um, no longer than 30 minutes at a time. And I don't know where those mini series will go because maybe I will need to modify them if you viewers ask me for something more. L I will start with something then I will probably need to modify them in function of your comments, hoping that comments will come for that mini-series. And the second one, the second mini-series, will be focused on 3D printing, 3D printers, and 3D printing props and objects for your Christmas villages. I know that plenty of Christmas villages got a new 3D printer, Finally, uh, last uh, 2020, last Christmas in Christmas 2023. It's not being erratic to use some 3D printers in 2024 to make, to build, to develop something for your Christmas villages that is not pre present in any <laughs> Christmas village producer catalog. And I will be focused on very simple matters. How to start from a sketch that you sketch on some paper to some elementary uh, geometry to get the result then on some 3D software that will be used to generate some file used by your 3D printers. Very simple, very basic, nothing complicated as modeling a complete figurine maybe one day if you want if you ask i will be doing that but very simple maybe starting from a circle getting a cylinder from a cylinder getting it uh, to the 3d printer from that on so you will understand the basis the principle behind uh, 3d modeling software up to some 3d printed props for your Christmas villages. Sorry for my voice, guys. Very easy series. 30 minutes part. First one will be starting, uh, let's say, in two weeks, maximum two weeks. 
I want you let, let me bring my glasses I know I will be doing uh, some reflection on the camera but without them I am blind those are street lamps from Lamax street lamps like that maybe I'm too close to the camera like that but they are very fade guys and I'm not using some uh, used batteries. I have connected the, the Lemax AC adapter to some AC adapter to 3 volts AC adapter. So this is the maximum power you can obtain from those from these uh, street lamps. Maybe I will go that way. Okay, I will go that way. Very very fade, and you are <laughs> you are in the need to use uh, some spotlights, some bright spotlights to get the proper lights to your Christmas village. But I want to show you how to get from that to this one. This is uh, something modified. I modified. I, mm, I've started from a, a dollhouse street lamp, pure plastic with no LEDs, and I modified that. And those street lamps there are very powerful. Let me switch this off. Let me switch to 3 volts because my LEDs are 3 volts. I will connect the new here. Okay, like that. And the power of those LEDs inside those street lamps is very, very, very powerful. Let me bring this. And they project a very high amount of light and they are not uh, fade. So I will try to show you very easily how to get an LED inside, how to get some LEDs inside that uh, plastic street lamp. My 2024 starting point. Let me bring my glasses once again and I will be starting. No, let's forget. What was that blink of an eye idea I got from January 2024. Lemax or Limax or the Pattern 56 used to produce some very 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 beautiful buildings in the past. You know and you already know that I'm criticizing sometimes Limax, Lemax because recently five in the past five years, five seasons the quality of their buildings have degraded a little more, a little bit, sorry. Uh, I'm talking about uh, bottle-shaped buildings, uh, uh, coffee grinder buildings, or uh, something more. I'm not talking about the movements they had, uh, like the uh, truffle factory, like uh, Santa's uh, kitchens, uh, Mrs. Santa kitchens, or something like that. I'm talking about the standard building, about the houses not the quality they used to have 10, 10 years ago, 15 years ago but <laughs> I will always buy something new for these from, from Lemax for adding each season to my Christmas village uh, maybe the, you haven't seen the 2024 collection but please go to lemaxcollection.com and to see the new 2024 Maybe you will find something attractive to you, but once again, sorry, I'm sorry, but it's not the perfect collection. So, why I am talking about that? Because nowadays, if you buy something from Lemax, from Limax, from Department 56, you have a piece, you have another piece, you have a third piece, a fourth piece, and so on. They are unique pieces, but these don't bring harmony. Sorry, once again, to your Christmas villages. Having something shaped strangely, then something different, then something also more different. Let, let's be more precise. When, and you know that I always you I've always used the Caddington Lemax collection that is Victorian time. When they first started making buildings, houses and um, other buildings, not for not not precisely other uh, shops, uh, post office, etc., they were almost all centered in Victorian time. 
but all along the years they went over that and they went strangely odd adding some new pieces to Caddington that they are off the Victorian era period. So if in the beginning you could get something that was harmonious, that was the, the bring you harmony because all the pieces, all the buildings were almost the same shape and the same model. Ed. Nowadays it is very difficult. Let's talk about Nora's Christmas Boutique that was pure uh, Victorian year and let's compare that to some uh, new building like this one for example <laughs> it is not completely Victorian so if you wanted to make something such as a village, a, a Victorian era village or a Vale village or something like that that has the same style for almost the same style for every building such as common sense will dictate as um, modern um, architecture will dictate nothing to middle ages with a skyscraper <laughs> beside him no that's not happening so some something that is coherent <laughs> with what Lemax started uh, 20, 24, 50, maybe from the beginning, okay? That's why I'm still criticizing Lemax once again. Nothing in 2024 collection is suited, nothing in Caddington Lemax collection in 2024 uh, Caddington collection is suited for uh, Victorian era period. Maybe the fire station, maybe the police station, but nothing else. I want to go with districts. Districts, sorry. What I'm intend, what I intend for that, with that. My glasses, let me bring the screen like that. So, Obviously, I will expand once again, and I marked here uh, measures dimensions in centimeters and in inches this time. So I will be going 372 centimeters at least by 200 centimeters in depth. Depth, I will always uh, ke keep that because my room is like that the room i use for my christmas village is like that but i have expanded in width during the years and so this year too i will be going expanding over left and over right so generally my spot where i usually talk to you is like that it is like that i will double the space so I don't know the result, but I will be doing something like that. I will double the space. So 100, 150 uh, inches by 78 inches or 372 by 200, <coughs> sorry, centimeters. That's this one here. Okay, this is the plywood I will be using, some sources behind it, but I'm not there. And I marked also this eight here. This will be my tallest level, and something will start from there down. 74 centimeter, 29 inches. That's uh, the tallest uh, level I will be doing. This is a marker for me. So generally I do 12 centimeters levels. So 12, 24, 48, 5 to 6 levels 8. Because I will need these 8 there. 
just like the 74 is the level I used for my 2023 Christmas village where I had the cathedral and the scriptorium was 74 centimeters from the ground, from the plywood, okay? But district, I will be using two district. One here in the right, one there in the left corner, okay? I know, I haven't planned anything right now for the moment, but I will be also use a bridge in this position here. And this is a very tall bridge because dimension is... Sorry guys, I can't get the dimension here, I will get it there there the dimension 18 centimeters tall it is taller it is uh, half taller than my standard levels i used to do 12 centimeters levels this bridge will be 18 centimeters tall i can't deny that i already started modeling something building some buildings a couple of buildings already modeled and also the bridge is already modeled I don't yes let, let's go imagine that this bridge here will be replaced by this bridge here guys maybe I will and it's not complete it lacks the uh, the other uh, half of the um, of the ramp there on the other side it is a very complex bridge like that let me go closer okay like that a pure bridge made of stones etc this is uh, it still lacks props but this bridge will be used by by figurines it's not a simple bridge put there and not uh, uh, not usable i will be having life on this bridge and maybe under the bridge and this will be a very long bridge guys uh, let me go this way and let me measure this bridge i think i went for at least one meter Guys, this bridge is 1 meter and 30 centimeter, 51 inches. It's a huge bridge. 18 centimeters in 8 and 24 centimeters, 9 inches in uh, width. Width and in depth, okay? 9, nine inches, 24 centimeters. So it will be usable i will add it heaven can have a little building on top of it i don't know right now if i will be using a building on top of it but it can suit a building if here i have a bridge obviously i will have some water under it not as much water as in my 2023 2023 Christmas village but some water and maybe I will go with the bridge a little towards there with some water there I still don't know district district number one don't hate me for that it will also start from the water there a little of water then it will um, climb 
immediately to something strange I will be adding there. And these will have colonial architecture. So at least a three, five, five houses and the church will have in common some colonial architecture. I want to uh, to get to, to I want you to have a look on what uh, can be a Christmas village with districts having different buildings having the same uh, architecture, the same structure, not identical buildings, obviously, but buildings having uh, some uh, common architecture. What is colonial architecture? Is the and uh, it's not a term I've uh, invented. It's some architecture developed by European um, countries that had the colonies in Africa and in South America, such as English, such as French, such as Spanish. So English, French and Spanish colonies. So it is uh, a modification of some European architecture but modeled in function of new uh, materials founded on the colonies. I know it's bad talking about colonies but it was like that in Victorian time and mm, but mainly on climate with pure cold freezing winter in all the main Europe, in the all the main um, countries that were colonizations countries during that period of time, rigid, very cold, very freezing um, winters dictate some kind of uh, uh, of uh, architecture with very uh, thick walls, with very small windows, with very small doors, in order to keep the heat inside during the long months, the long winter months. But when they conquered some countries in Africa and America, that same architect introduced some local elements in that architecture plus the old fashioned way of doing architecture, the European way of doing architecture. I will try to go there. I've modeled building H2 and building H3 for, for now. I will not show them to you. But this will be colonial architecture. Big district there, starting maybe a little there, I don't know yet, but this will be a little of water then, we'll be climbing there, we'll be adding some other props, etc. But all those buildings will have some common architecture. Will be this disrupting the harmony of uh, Christmas Village? I don't know right now. I hope not, but I will try to do that because it is something lacking from every single one of the producer from Lamax Department 56. Every kind of producer they are lacking that. May I do some districts having common some buildings? L let's continue. The second district, guys, and you already seen that that I marked. This will be a gigantic, enormous district. Okay. Let me cancel those one. I, will. I marked late 1700 to Victorian. Victorian year is 1837 up to 1902. But I wanted uh, to show you that a village, uh, that a city can also be modified and present starting from 1700 up to Victorian year because if not recent especially in Europe 
villages, the cities have been modified, have been improved during the years, during the centuries. Uh, they had in common something, and maybe some architecture is no more there. But can a late 1700 village survive to Victorian era, incorporate some Victorian era elements? This will be very difficult to achieve, and it will be full of things. I can, I, I want also, and this is not very frequent in Christmas villages because it's not very Christmas holidays. But I also want a cemetery in my late 17th to Victorian district, and I will try to do something that have. Uh, uh, markets, stores, buildings, uh, clock towers, m plenty of things, and these will be huge, guys. I can't go over there, guys, because obviously, if I have a bridge, I also have uh, some water under it, so a little section in the middle will be occupied by some water but I will extend it to the maximum I want and the bridge will be for me a connection from this district there to this district there and then if I found a place I will add all the remaining um, Lamax buildings I know I will not have the space for all the Lamax buildings I have, but it's not a matter of placing all you have, it's a matter of placing what it is suited for the, for your new Christmas village. So, you can imagine that I will have to work a lot from now to July. Because 3D modeling, 3D printing, painting, priming, etc. And I'm not even there with some figurines. I not started thinking about new figurines. Because Lemax has only a few new figurines. And I don't know if they will be suited for a colonial district, a colonial architecture district or late 70s. Victorian, obviously, yes. I want this to be a little more festive the oops sorry guys this colonial district here i want it to be some more festive can in the same christmas villa exist something that has maybe a south american architecture in plain winter <laughs> two ways i i don't want to have here uh something like sunnyvale uh valley sunny valley or uh, beaches or hearth and then just there some freezing people it's a nonsense i will try to go winter everywhere because i think that even some colonial architecture houses can survive on some north american um, uh, christmas uh, north american village I still don't know if this will be a Victorian, a Victorian village in some South American or South uh, South Africa uh, land, or the opposite. I still don't know. This is what I wanted. I had in mind two different districts. I want to have a bunch of buildings from each district to be to have some common architecture will this be harmonious the, will be br this bring more harmony to a christmas village instead of having uh, too much difference in buildings i don't know maybe i agree. and here something odd I'm not talking about that right now. So guys, this is where I want to go. A lot of printing, yes, but also my 2023 village. And my 2023 village was made upon buildings that somehow, and 
and let me go once again towards the main camera guys like that I was saying for my uh, Viking fishing village somehow I cheated a little bit because I don't um, model and printed uh, 10 different vi 10 different buildings I started from one building from one octagonal building rounded octagonal building and one squared fishing building and then use it as some specular uh, effects and then added uh, one level but in reality I just modeled two buildings one octagonal round building and one square building then using some mirror effect uh, adding some more uh, layer some more levels to them I modify them and then the colors the very bright uh, colors made the difference but it was cheating yes sometimes I cheat also but for this uh, new 2024 season the two districts will have completely different buildings having some architecture in common but it's not like uh, taking one building and making a specular to it and then adding uh, uh, a different uh, color of uh, windows or door. No, they will be all different. Uh, maybe having common some roof in commons, but all they will be different. And no, guys, I don't think uh, I will uh, add another building to my cathedral and the scriptorium. Uh, district maybe for 2025 but for this 2024 they will not be present there but I have in mind some huge building that I don't know right now sorry I'm still uh, thinking about that but 3d modeling and 3d printing will be as important as I it was for my 2023 um, village uh, this said, uh, I think I will uh, stop here by this new preview. If you have uh, comments, if you have uh, questions, if you have uh, to tell me you are completely mad and you are going uh, where you don't want to go, please don't hesitate comment down below. But nowadays, I'm convinced that without 3D printing you can achieve what you have in mind for your Christmas villages. Also you need to model you need to start modeling at some point, but it's not that complicated. As always guys, please don't forget to comment, <laughs> give big thumbs up and please excuse my absolutely awful English but it is like that hoping to receive your comments bye guys